Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 9th guys we have this beautiful full moon in Virgo Mercury retrograde ends tomorrow yes we still have a shadow period but let's celebrate anyways let's be like yes no with these crazy and emotional upheavals the past technology crashing cars going out all that jazz let's just celebrate that we're in this beautiful full moon energy Things are going to be kind of, oh, evening out. It's going to be great. You're probably seeing my sage go a little crazy right here. Now, this is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. So please remember to check all three as they all matter, especially your rising or ascendant. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. If it helps you, serves you, guides you in any way, please like, subscribe, comment down below, guys. It really does help, and I really do appreciate it. All right, Sagittarius, let's take a deep breath in. Release any stress and anxiety. Let's let all that go. And let's get started. Let me guide into the energy of Sagittarius for the week of March 9th. All right, Sagittarius, we have the Justice card, Seven of Swords, Eight of Coins, Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, Three of Coins, Seven of Wands is the Clarity card. So right out the gate, guys, you have the Justice card. So any Sagittarius is out there dealing with any kind of legal issues, anything with the courts, anything that you might, any kind of battles, and then it can be where the state or the country's kind of, or other people are involved, understand, or just unbalance. The Justice card is about fixing imbalance in your life. But when you have it up front and center, they're saying, don't give up, Sagittarius. You are standing up for yourself. You're claiming your space. You're saying, this is okay. This is not okay. And I'm not going to allow people to step on me, push past boundaries that I have set. And I'm going to fight. And fighting doesn't have to be like in your face. It's more about for what's right, what's good, what's healthy. Fighting for yourself, fighting for the ground you've covered, the thing, you know, you've done a lot of incredible work, Sag, and you're not going to let that go. You're not going to just be like, oh, it's not worth it. You're worth it. You have the seven of swords on top of it. They're saying, look at, there's a better course of action. When you have the seven of swords, they're saying, look at, step back really quick. Let's look at this. You might be beating your head against the wall. And they're like, why are you doing that? The universe is saying, pull yourself away from it a little bit. And you're going to find another solution that's more than likely going to be through other people. When you have the, other, the Seven of Swords, you're saying, look, it, you're not meant to do, to make these changes, to have, have this fight. I don't want to using the word fight, but you're not meant to make these changes or new directions or, or courses of action alone, Sagittarius. I know it might be uncomfortable, but ask other people for insight. How this could be professionals, lawyers, therapists. This can be mentors, teachers, spiritual elders. This can be your sibling, a parent, anybody that might help you say, hey, look at you're doing it this way. And I understand. But do you ever think about doing it that way? It's cheaper, more affordable, easier all the time. You're like, oh my God, I was too close. I was too close to it. I didn't see it. But there is a better way. Review all the details. So let's take a little pause this week. We still still are in that shadow period of Mercury retrograde. So let's go, let's pull back a little bit. Let's go back to the drawing board. Did we did we miss anything? Did we cross all our teeth? Did we dot all our eyes? Is there there's something that you might be not seeing. So let's pull it back here. You have the eight of coins. So this is about learning, growth. Now this can be traditional learning. This can be traditional like certifications, courses, but in this, I feel that this is life learning here, Sagittarius. You're putting in the work for your own well-being, your own growth, your own direction, pushing yourself forward, expanding. And that can be by you know, standing up for yourself because this could be in your, your relationships. This can be in the courts. It could be at work, but you're saying, you know what? How things are are unbalanced in my life, maybe in one or more sectors. And I uh, know I am going to tip the scales in my favor. I'm not going to give up. I have a voice. I'm going to work through this problem, this issue in a way that serves me. And as I'm doing it, not only am I learning more about myself, I'm learning new ways of approaching, new ways of thinking. I'm learning, I'm learning who I am now because who I was last year even last week is not today and you're learning so much about the people around you you have the page of cups this is just confirmation Sagittarius you have a lot of love and a lot of support and a lot of people that see you they love you and see you and, and for all the gifts and blessings that you give and bring with who you are and it's really important this week Sagittarius to 
make some time. I don't care how busy you are. Make some time this week for these people, whether they're your best friends, your family, your mentors, your teachers, or even just groups of people that you just resonate with. That could be your yoga, your yoga class, you know, your studio. But make time for some socializing this week because the people, these people mirror back to you your beauty, your truth, who you are. They inspire, they, they strengthen you. And like I said, with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups, the universe is going to be working through people. So that solution, that support, that money, that opportunity, that idea, it's coming through other people. So stop spinning your wheels late at night. It's not coming that way. So just pull back, go back to the drawing board. Let's see where we're at. Put everything together. Go out. There's nothing wrong with having some downtime. I don't care how busy you are. Not only is it going to fuel your heart, your spirit, your energy, but it's going to provide you that aha moment. You have the Ten of Swords. Whatever it is you were going through, Sagittarius, the, the past, the trouble, the conflict, whatever, it's done. It's done. The past is behind you. If, you, if you're worried for a shoe to drop or it's going to happen again, things are going to get worse, let me be your sign. It is not. It is not. That situation has ended. You're free. You might find yourself maybe a little bit more mentally captive, but really it's done. And the universe is saying, look it, let's find these solutions. Let's keep moving forward. There's a creative solution here. It's going to come through people. So don't be afraid to ask for help or insights to share, to be vulnerable Sagittarius, because you're going to be hugged and loved and lifted and helped probably more than you expect. And it's going to help you to embrace the new opportunities and, and healthy and happy changes that are going to be taking place. You have the three of coins again. Again, they're urging you. This is about team playing, working together with people, working as a group, working, working, bringing your own. You bring something. They have insight. They have insight and working together to find a solution. This can be pulling together an idea, a business, a relationship, a situation. And they're saying, look it, this is a time to really focus on what you love who you are, your passion, your creativity, your spirit, your inspiration, your ingenious ways of doing things and working well with other people to move forward. Again, this is not a solo journey, not this leg, not this leg of the journey. You're meant to be with other people who you inspire and who inspire you, who have the same vision and drive and working together to grow and to move forward. Lastly, you have the seven of wands, guys. Two sevens here and seven of wands. That's standing up for what you believe in. Standing up for yourself, having confidence in yourself, claiming your personal power. And this is not pushing yourself and other people. You're just saying, hey, this is me. This is what I bring. You don't like it? Fine. But you're not going to infringe, keep down, bottle, make me feel less than? No. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to stand my ground. I know my worth. I'm not asking for any more than I already give. I'm not taking advantage. All I know is I'm, you're not going to take advantage of me either. And I'm going to be creative and have confidence and take a chance and I'm going to stand it. There's a lot of oomph this week for you, Sagittarius. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up your passion, your dream, whatever it is. Stand your ground. Hold your boundaries. Claim your power. Have confidence. Move forward. Ask for help. You're going to have a tribe that comes up underneath you, Sagittarius, that holds you and helps you and takes you much farther than you could have done alone. Because sometimes when we're too close to something, it gets all messy. So they help you to see other solutions and other ways of looking at it and support you through it. It's a good week. What a wonderful week of socializing, loving, creative solutions and support and empowerment, Sagittarius. I'm loving it. If you like a more in-depth reading, a healing session, or any of my workshops, my links are down below, guys. Otherwise, I will see you next week for next week's reading, guys. Take care.